Welcome to Block C News. There has been a fatal crash somewhere. The location is classified. Here is a picture of the crash. This is a very sad and tragic accident. The Qantas airline is requesting someone to go look for it and analyze what exactly happened. Who's there? Come on Hello? in. Take a seat. Thank you. That's very nice of you. So how could I assist you today? Don't tell me this is about the accident that was all over the TV. Well, it is. Oh, God. Okay, what's the details? Well, reach, uh, look, let me for, um, yeah. For night, so uh, can you do that? So, if you're there, uh, then we're going to go to Saint Barthelemy because that was where the supposed location of the aircraft was um, promised. I'm here, I'm here. You just made it. We were about to leave. Oh. Phew. I made it on time. Why are there so many people here? Because these are the mountains and a lot of people like to camp here. It crashed here. Uh, so circle the mountains here. Maybe we can find the wreckage somewhere nearby. Copy that. Did the accident happen on this mountain? Yeah, right here. So, the accident happened here? Well, if an accident happened here, then where's the accident? Did we accidentally go to the wrong mountain? Did you just say accident, like, three times? I don't think so. Let's go see what the air traffic controller has to say.
Hello, sir. Do you know who was on the ATC duty last night at about 11 p.m.? Oh, he's at Plymouth 12th Avenue. Ah, 12th Avenue. Cool. Thank you, then. What a weird guy. He didn't even ask anything else. And he just walked away. Hello, you're welcome in. Take a seat. Why, thank you, sir. We have a few questions. Yes, what is it? Well, right. you're an ATC controller, correct? Yes. What do you want duty last night around 11 p.m.? Uh, yeah. Well, Qantas Flight 5655 flew through your airspace, correct? Yes, it did. Were there any signs of distress? Well, I couldn't hear what they were saying. What would their next airspace be? I believe it's Greater Rockford. Sir, please write that down. Okay, sir. Well, that shall be all. Sir, why are you asking these questions? The plane has crashed is all I can say. Oh. Okay. But we best be off. A lot of work to do. Alright, thanks.
happened on flight five 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 at eleven forty five PM the plane Qantas five 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 took off after thirty minutes passenger Royce on board stated that something was very weird. Ten minutes shortly after the dinner started he ate a burger for for dinner along with some fries. After an hour, pilot Tommy noticed something wrong. Contest 5555 was cleared to maintain 30,000 feet, but soon after it did, the indicator showed 45,000 feet. Contest 5555 pilot Tommy descended back down to 30,000 feet, but in reality, he was now at 15,000 feet. This was really low, and the clouds were really high up that day, 10,342 feet to be exact. Three hours later, it, were, it was already it was already morning. A lot of people on the plane were, were already awake. The people were, the the plane was descending down for its approach. The plane was again told to maintain five thousand feet and then drop down to one thousand and five hundred for final approach. There was a lot of fog that day, and pilot Tommy n- could not see well into the distance, so he followed. The ATC commands, ignoring the problem with the altitude indicator, and thought maybe he did go to five, for, maybe he did go to forty-five thousand feet while not paying attention. He decided he descended to five five thousand feet. He could see water. It was so close that it felt like he was driving a ship. He quickly started going up. Never the co-pilot instantly told him to stop relying on the altitude meter, so he did. He started going up and up and up until he was near the ground and the ground was visible. He started circling around the runway to find a good approach to finally land the aircraft safely in this process. They were so focused on the emergency that they did not notice they were far too low. 2,599 feet. They started going up right away. They got into a stall position. The aircraft stalled and stalled started to nose dive down. This dangerous act got them to 7,000 feet, 700 feet and got them into a bird strike, leaning to an engine fire. Luckily, they were in a good short final direction and direction. They landed and flared. Their tail, they, they tail strike. Co-pilot said, was that a tail strike? Which Toby responded, Yes, clearly scared to uh, react. His co-pilot told him to put the gear down and do a go around. Go around. Surely it won't be that hard. The fog was so much they didn't notice a mountain ahead, and and as they were trying to avoid hitting it, the wing hit it, and then it pulled the aircraft into the mountain, causing a big explosion. That was the reason. Contest five 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 is now currently a wreckage. That was all information I could gather up with the black box. Thank you for coming here and listening to this presentation. Bye.